Hey everybody, it's Matt Stopa again. Today we're going to start the first of a series of videos on Ruby metaprogramming. Uh, and we're going to deal with the send method today. Uh, it's not, I mean, some people may argue that this is not technically part of the Ruby metaprogramming area, but it's very important to really understand how the whole thing fits together. <coughs> uh, send comes from the idea of message passing, which you know, Ruby inherits a lot of things from different languages, some of it from Perl, some of it from Smalltalk and other languages as well. But <clears throat> one of the ideas that it got from Smalltalk was the idea of passing messages between objects. So if we look at this class here, this is kind of like your standard little class. You know, you've got an account and you have these attribute accessor methods. So name, address, email, and notes. And basically, uh, you know, there's nothing really too exciting about that, but we have this user info object, right? And it's, it's a hash of values, name, address, email, and notes. So it's got some data. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to be able to assign this data to this object. Uh, this happens a lot like in Rails with params because params, excuse me, Params comes back as a hash, right? So it looks something like this. So you, what what we want to do here? Let's go back to user info. All right. So how do we do this? You know, the the obvious way, and really the Java way of doing it, or you know, uh, one of those other languages that are not so easy to use, is to you know we create our object, then we access each element in the hash. And we assign it to the value. So we're like, hey, user info name. Okay, assign that to account name, and address, email, notes on the on down. So then you see how it says puts account inspect. All right. So we're just gonna see what the actual output of this is. So let's see what this object looks like after all this code is run. Okay. You can see here assign the name to Matt, address to this street email address, et cetera, et cetera. So that did the job, and everything's fine, but this gets back to message passing and how metaprogramming can be helpful. What we can do here is eliminate all these lines of code, all four of them. And imagine if you had more elements, you could eliminate that as well. So here's how you would do that. So def assign whoopsie yeah assign values and what we'll do here is say okay uh, well we need to pass in whoopsie obviously me and Vim don't get along today uh, but what we're gonna do is say values and that's that'll be our hash in this case right so we'll say values dot each so we'll iterate over each element and we'll do e for element and actually this should be since this is a hash this is going to be key in value pairs but actually what we'll do is just each key we'll go over each key and this is a little bit forced because there are easier ways of doing it but this should suffice so then we'll say uh, value or excuse me we'll say self dot send so we're gonna send a message to ourself and it's gonna be the key the key from or yeah we're gonna call it K uh, but it's gonna be this key so we're gonna send in name into this object and what that does is you know in in the case of uh, <coughs> in in the case of you know name for example it takes that symbol and it says okay who has this exactly like what is this assigned to and it looks for any method with the name name or the name address or email or notes and it looks to assign that basically so what we do is we're gonna stick this in an interpolated string Oops, and we're gonna add the equal sign after it so we're gonna say this key equals and then we'll have the value so then we'll say values 
Okay. So, let's see what happens when we go through delete all that and say account dot assign values and then pass in this user info alright let's try it again there it is and just like the first time it works it does the same exact thing but with a lot less code now if you had 12 or 13 values or something like that you could see that it would be quite a bit more code right so that's sort of the first step in understanding Ruby metaprogramming. Uh, the send method is sends a message to the object, and the object has to decide what it's going to do with it. Now, you may say, well, wait, what, what's going on here? What is this actually sending? That, that might be a little confusing to you. So this is actually what it looks like. For the first key, which is name, it's, it's basically calling this name equals, and then... Uh, the value well it'd be values K that's what that's actually sending so it really it changes the way you sort of think about objects if you're used to the Java world or one of these other languages that don't support things like this where to, to Ruby all these things are really just messages you know it's a facade in a sense and whatever message it gets back that's what it tries to process and this kind of this kind of thing is used heavily in Rails, and even in like code that you know that I use on a daily basis, um, I'll end up writing I'll end up writing methods that utilize these things rather than have to do it myself. Uh, you know, manually say, okay, we'll only set this value or only set that value. Now, interestingly enough, GitHub was hacked the other day, and it's it's actually fascinating because this is exactly how it was hacked, because there's something called uh, in the active record excuse me attributes oopsie there's something on active record called attributes equals so if we wanted to do equals we do that right and with attribute equals you do exactly this you pass it any hash with keys and values and it assigns them based on that but that leaves things wide open, right? So I'll give you a perfect example. If you said uh, bank, whoopsie, bank balance, but you are intending to let them set bank balance, that shouldn't be set by you know the user. They shouldn't be able to pass that in. Uh, I guess the notes annoying customer would not be a good example, but um, you know you wouldn't want them to assign that right so we put bank balance in here and now the customer I mean because these are just per these essentially would just be params at least they are in rails most of the time um, the customer can now you know pass in this extra param hey set my bank accounts to you know one whoopsie one million dollars <laughs> which would be fantastic to do right but so what basically the exploit that happened is since this method is completely wide open and you can set any value people were had access to send in what their normal stuff but they just changed things from like their name or some unique identifier that used them to somebody else and then they had that person's privileges that's sort of a simplistic way of explaining it but that's what happened so this is a good example, like metaprogramming, very powerful, but can have unintended side effects. This is actually a known thing of Rails. It's not really uh, unintentional. It was intentional, but it's something that if you aren't paying attention to, can cause a lot of problems. So, but long story short, what you need to know is that send is really cool, and it's the first part of understanding Ruby metaprogramming. So with this, you can do a lot of fun things, play around with it on your own, and see what you can come up with. Okay, that's it. Take care.